All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today we are going to be taking down yet another one of the new Gods of Destruction from part two of the sixth anniversary. And this time it's going to be uh, Likur? Likur? I don't know exactly how to say his name, but either way, it's the Universe 8 God of Destruction, the Fox God. And the team we're going to bring is the uh, powerful comeback team led by the dual LR Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta's. We also have the Int Gogeta. We have uh, Int UI Goku, of course, AGL UI Goku. And then uh, the Tech Ultimate Gohan and Tech Khalifla for her dodges. So without further ado, let's jump right in here. And on this first rotation, we have the SSBE and Gogeta. And I'm thinking we can just leave it as is. Although I am a little bit concerned, actually. But maybe we do this. That might be better. Yeah, let's go for that. Hopefully we get a couple dodges with uh, Gogeta. Um, oh, I messed up. Okay, so it looks like Vegeta can't get a super here. Maybe he gets an additional. And then... Wow, no super for Gohan either. Alright, so I might have... I might have screwed myself, guys. We'll see, we'll see. The only one that has a guaranteed super right now is Gogeta. Um, the other guys could get additionals, but I'm not like super hopeful. Oh, okay, there we go. We got one additional super with Vegeta. That's good. Now, Gohan needs those supers to build up his defense. So, um, yeah, not feeling great about that last slot. We haven't taken a super yet, so... Oh! Oh, okay. Alright, no supers this turn. I like that. I like that. Alright, so... Now... See, this is kind of tricky. I want to keep Khalifla in the rotation, of course, but at the same time, I want to have the SSBE and the UI Goku together. So, like... I don't know, guys. Uh... You know what? Screw it. Yo, we're gonna take Khalifa out. I'm gonna keep the guys together just so we can have this great rotation. And am I gonna regret it? Maybe. This might actually be a huge mistake. But this is gonna be more fun for me. So I'm gonna leave it as is. I might just pop in person a snake. Let's just go for it. <laughs> just to be extra safe. And uh, yeah, we're gonna keep this rotation going. And then for the other rotation, um. We'll see, man. We'll see. I've seen a lot of people say that actually this guy likes to attack the final slot, like the third slot, slot a lot. So if that's the case, then having, you know, Khalifa there would actually make a lot of sense later on. Of course, right now it doesn't make a lot of sense because Khalifa is uh, not taking any attacks. But the point is, I want to have some fun rotations, and this makes it more fun. And you know, if we take a super right now, it wouldn't be too bad. There we go. Yeah, it wouldn't be too bad because. Vegeta actually has his full damage reduction built up. So, <laughs> there you go, man. Only 24k. And then we're going to let this UI Goku build up his uh, his passive as well. Or not his passive, sorry. His um, just attacking defense from the supers. And, yeah, looking really good. I know we have the Princess Snake, but still, taking double digits is, is very, very nice. And now, we have this rotation here with the... Uh, UI and SSBE, which is awesome. So let's give those to him, give these to him, and then we have at least one rainbow for Gogeta so we can get some dodges. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Let's go. It'd be sweet if we can actually get a revival skill going in this video. It's unlikely, um, just because this event usually isn't like long enough for me to take, up, take enough hits, but there's a chance. There's definitely a chance. So let's see, let's see how it goes. Now this is definitely not the most, like most ideal team I could have brought. Obviously it's really good. It's really good. I could have brought a better team for this, but I just feel like it's a little bit more interesting to bring like some different units that maybe people wouldn't think about running. Like the Gogeta, for example, you know, he's, he's good here, but his defense is definitely a little sus. Little sus, little suspect, I guess. So, um, he concerns me, but I wanted to just use him just because I don't really use him too much outside of uh, this run right here. You know, he's not really a unit I run regularly, so 
you know, using him here right now. Oh god. Okay, well, you know, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. Of course he doesn't dodge the super attack. Of course he dodges the normals though. That's always how it goes, right? That's 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 always how it goes. Okay, so no revival skill this turn, but I can pop the active skill right now. So let's uh, do a little bit of damage with the active. But yeah, right before Kochida took the super, um, I was gonna say yeah, it's just like you know fun to try different team combinations, try different units that you don't use too regularly, and uh, Gochita was one of those units. But um, yeah. Then he took a super, and he kind of made me lose trust in him, but he didn't take that much damage, actually. Like, compared to what I was expecting, he actually did okay. So, yeah, good job, Gogeta. Now, I think I'm just going to leave this rotation where it is right now, because there seems to be four attacks in the front, four attacks in the middle. Um, so that's that's totally fine. And I'm going to make sure to get a super off with Ultimate Gohan, or just Gohan. Because uh, he needs to build up that defense a bit. But it doesn't look like the run's actually going to go too much longer. Alright, so we're taking a super here. I'm guessing 50k? 42. And, you know, if we get really good RNG, we could potentially actually kill him this turn. So if we get like a crit here. No, no crit. Additional. Okay, if we get like two supers, or two more supers with uh, Vegeta, including this one, and then we get an additional super from Goku. Gohan's not gonna do much, but um, yeah, if we get an additional super here, then that could be it, guys. That could be game. Come on, come on. Nope. All right, so instead of four turns, it looks like we're gonna have to kill him in five turns. Uh, kinda sucks, but hey, it's okay. <laughs> It is what it is. It is what it is. And you know, we didn't really have to rely on the uh, the dodging of Khalifla at all. Because these these, these other guys are actually pretty tanky. Um, Gogeta, I don't think I gave enough respect to, so that's my bad. That's my bad, yo. I love Gogeta, you guys know that. I just was kind of expecting him to take a little bit more damage on this stage. And uh, he surprised me. He really did. He, he surprised me. All right. So we're going to pop that Goku active skill too. Obviously, we're not going to be doing much damage unless it crits. Um, but it's a dope animation, man. So whenever I get the chance to use it, I'm going to. Yeah. Yeah, see, not, not a lot of damage, but no big deal. And, uh, yeah, let's give, there you go, 18 key super to Vegeta. Basically, Vegeta by himself can carry the entire thing. Um, he probably, like, between the two Vegetas, this Vegeta and the friend Vegeta, like, he probably did, I don't know, like, 70% of the damage, it feels like, at least, with all the additional supers. So, obviously, the other units matter, but not that much, you know? If you got the two SSB Vegetas, you're already good to go. Oh, okay. All right. We might actually have to take six turns. It looks like, yeah, un unless Goku crits here, we might we might need six turns to beat this, which is a little sad. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's not that bad. Um, but I was hoping, yeah, I was hoping within five turns. Um, maybe another another crit here. That should be enough. There you go. All right, did it. Five turns. And we out. So there you go, guys. Likur, Likur, God of Destruction of Universe 8. Done. And maybe a new time record. Oh, no, never mind. Never mind. No, I was chilling for a bit before I started the video. So that's why the time is not accurate. But it's all good. Um, let me know in the comments down below, guys, who you used to beat the uh, Universe 8 God. I know people are using different teams. People are having some trouble. So... If you see somebody struggling in the comments, then uh, and you can you know help them out, then definitely go ahead and do that because that's the whole point of having a community like this, right? Helping each other out. So um, that's it, guys. That's gonna be today's video. The uh, Universe Age God Instruction Liqueur done. We are only missing, I believe, a rock. 
Iraq. I don't know how to say a lot of these guys' names to be honest, but the uh, Universe 5 God is the last one we need to make a video for, and then that's gonna be it for the set 2. And then for set 3, which is coming in part 3, we got Belmod, we got Rumshi, we got... Uh... Who else? Man, I'm blanking right now. Okay, we got, yeah, we got the elephant guy. <laughs> we got Belmod the clown dude. And who are the other two? It's bothering me so much, man. I, I like, I know, it's just on the tip of my tongue. I just can't... It, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. You guys, you guys know who I'm talking about. So, there you go. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.